Welcome back, everybody, to another thrilling installment of uh, the Austrian Split, where uh, I am uh, currently in position up this bridge here in uh, northern Italy, and uh, here are the uh, here's an army of Napoleon, a fairly good sized army. I fully expect he will come over here and attack me. Uh, that's my guess. Over here, we were just recently defeated uh, by these worthless troops over here. Uh, or we, we used worthless troops to, do, to ser seriously weaken this unit here so that they can't successfully attack Innsbruck. There is a French army in Munich, and uh, we'll see to them shortly. They're quite beat up. They've been beat up twice now in the last two turns, but they've managed to win because, well, Marshal A knows what he's doing. Um, but all things end, and here is General Mack coming to uh, rest Bavaria away from the French. Are these building anything? Yes, okay. But that's where we are right now. Um, and so, uh, let's do this. By the way, the game is Napoleonic Total War 3, a mod for uh, Total War, Napole or Napoleon Total War. And what's this? What are the British doing? I have to read. Military Alliance. Oh, okay. Oh, and they want money too. Isn't that great? Like they're doing me a big favor. You haven't done squat the whole game, British. You haven't landed any troops in your con. You have. I don't even know if you defeated any of the French troop or French fleets. Oh, get banned! Really? <coughs> you really think that torn up army has any chance at all against Innsbruck? And according to that red bar down there, the red, red and blue bar. Looks like you guys are going to win easily. <clears throat> that is the most pathetic thing I have seen. Look at this army. The strongest unit has 143 guys in it. Okay. Well, if I didn't have these starting troops here, I'd still beat you with my peasant revolt. You have no chance. And yet, it's saying that you're favored to win. Okay. Well, okay. Let's do this. I don't have any cavalry, and I don't have a leader. Maybe that's the determining factor. The fact that they can't push me out of Innsbruck is uh, not the important factor. It's just the fact that they have some mili military special dudes. Uh... <laughs> compared to just gallons and gallons and gallons of well gallons is not a very good metaphor but tons and tons of guys and of course they didn't give me any city of Innsbruck, Innsbruck to defend because that would be even easier alright who can form square and who cannot I have one unit that can form square. Okay. Well, I guess they get to be in front. And as I'm being attacked, I see no reason to uh, I'll just stand out in the front, stand out in the open. Also, I talked about that last game. Is that uh, this is the back? 
making the French walk all the way across the battlefield to get to me. But this is the retreat line. So if I retreat a lot guy here, he just has to go that far. It has no chance, has less chance of rallying. Oh, I got a wall over here. Oh, well, kind of. Uh, <coughs> a wall facing the wrong direction and uh, not being very useful at all. But it's a wall. All right. Uh-huh. Anything over here? Uh, oh, this is terrible. Is that the only decent defensive terrain at all? Unless I was concerned about guns. The only decent area is way up front, so I'm helping the French by make it so they don't have to walk so far. Well, here we go. All those guys that can't form square, please stand up and defend this spot. And those are skirmishers, proper skirmishers. And those are proper skirmishers. Alright, and I will give them the instructions to back up when needed. Now some of these other guys can build entrenchments, uh, or little, little fortifications. Another unit of skirmishers. I think I will leave them be. Yeah. All right. And then the one unit that can form square. I'm going to put him in the very front and then march him out there and give, give their cavalry somebody to go after. I'm curious if they're going to do it. <laughs> All right. Here they come. And there goes my guy. <coughs> All right. I'm gonna speed things up. I didn't look to see if they had any cavalry. I think they do. Although not, oh, there they are. I knew they had some. There's, I mean, there's, there is no reason to uh, just let them kill my guy, but. Uh, I'm most concerned about their cavalry. Which I don't think is unreasonable. Because everybody else has got to push me, push me out. And these are inexperienced troopies that have been bludgeoned in a prior fight. In fact, they were bludgeoned worse than that. The only reason they got to save anybody is because they won. And their general only has five guys. So. It looks like they're playing a smarter game with their cavalry and not charging. So I'll bring these guys over here. And I have to run them. 
these guys are going to start shooting and I don't want them to shoot my guys. Oh, like, yeah, what? I'm going to come down there and attack you? <laughs> Jerks. Okay. And there we go. The shooting has started. Are we going to hit anything? That's the other question. Well, we already have. Oh, here come their cavalry. Who are they going to hit? Yeah. They just moved up to back my guys out. Because the game knew that they were... The game knew that they were on the backup mode. Well, Crowded. <coughs> ah, that didn't work out so well. But they'll rally. I don't know why they routed. They routed without losing anybody. I mean, they routed without killing anybody. That's how terrible these guys are. I knew these cavalry were going to give me trouble. I really, really hoped that it would have worked out that they would have attacked me like I really thought they would. And they're just rolling up my line now. It'd be nice if we could kill somebody. Anybody. Why are people just running? And what the hell hit them? They don't have a gun? 
How did I lose a hundred guys? I guess I'm gonna lose because nothing. These guys are suddenly the best units in the game. This torn up bunch of Northern Europeans, not only are they barely taking any damage at all, but everything they're doing is working perfectly. like these guys have never been in a fight before and yet, there were some trained units here Hey, we we push somebody out. <laughs> they recognize the fact that they're <laughs> done a whole mess of troops. Oh, what? That cavalry unit finally routed. Glory, glory. Portionist unit. They're gonna ignore my instructions for them. quality of these troops is better than the quality of the last unit and those guys run ran rush out over these same troops so I don't understand I guess they had a terrain in, where they higher elevation maybe that's it that's probably it that I got totally... Uh, that's the only thing I can think of. I got totally uh, manipulated out of using good, ter good terrain. These guys seem to be content to not hit anything. And that's very irritating. Yeah, this guy just wants to route. It's ridiculous.
Is there a gap between them? And why do they run? It, 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 it's like I got a 500 man penalty just for entering the war. And that whatever shooting the Northern Italians do is 100% successful. Legend, this unit, uh, this army, the last time I faced it. I don't understand. They're, like, they're suddenly the best unit in the end. Best unit possible to imagine. Got that fifty four. This leader is a crap leader. <laughs> a three star leader. And he's being the most brilliant motivator of men in the history of warfare. Forty-nine guys. A line infantry unit of forty-nine guys. It's almost... It's well below fifty percent strength and they're still standing there shooting. guys than they do but mine are terrible and there's a need a whole army of theirs why can't we ever hit anybody I've been on 97 now for quite some time. Three units shooting at him and I can't hit one guy. 
Meanwhile, I know they're hitting all my guys. Now let's go to the other front. Did somebody run out of ammunition? Yeah, they ran out of ammunition. Okay, well, go there. Don't know how they ran out of ammunition, but apparently they did. And it's been a very strange game, I gotta say. That tiny depleted units came into the woods and smacked me around like they were grenadiers. This guy is finally wearing down. Ninety-seven. They're still on ninety-seven. We still haven't hit anybody. All right. Well, apparently this formation isn't going to work. So you go there. They're being shot in the back. That should count for something. And we can't hit them either. That's ridiculous. Yep. Once I give them the route, the, once I give them the command to attack, they're going to route. I guess I just shouldn't have done it. Oh, this is pathetic. That unit over there finally routed. That's something. I notice you're not shooting anymore. Did you route?
My, my two useless guys against their useless guy. Oh, we did get him below 97. He's at 90 now. That is something. Let's see how long he stays at 90. Oh, they lost four guys. I don't know where they're going. I guess they're going to chase down that unit. <laughs> this is very strange. If they leave the fight, okay. Looks like they're leaving the fight. So my map, my the map that you probably can't see is they're on the edge of the battlefield. So they're either leaving, leaving the fight or they're, uh, they were just chasing my guy off the battlefield. It's fine, I guess. Yep. Looks like that was the case. Very interesting. So my guy's got the chance to rest. I don't know if that makes a difference <laughs> against this incredibly powerful unit. No, I'm not coming over to kill you. You attacked me. If you want to run out of time, that's your choice. You lose if you run out of time. Right? That happened to me earlier? Oh, they're there. Okay. Exhausted. Mine are fresh. If nothing else, mine are fresh and you're and yours are exhausted. You have eighty six guys. I have uh, about two hundred. Mine are not substantially worse than yours. Be nice if we could hit something though. Please hit somebody. Oh, we did. We hit. Oh, we've killed four of them. Oh, they're in trouble now. Wavering. Yeah, 
That's it. Get that stuff out of here. 71 out of 143. It's possible though, really. It's, apparently it's a high quality unit. I mean, look at them and I can see what, three accolades on top of its flag. Where was that quality in the last battle? Where we pushed you guys around? Oh! Victory! Victory! <sighs> Freaking Northern Italians. I'm never attacking you guys. I'll only attack you if <laughs> I'm using a terrible unit. But man, on defense, you guys... <laughs> you guys bring the pain. Olmutz. You know, you mean the Prussians came down? Whatever demands in France, workers' right in France. And a bunch of guys were built. And. and Okay, trading company in Trieste, and uh, secret society in Salzburg. <laughs> All right. So here's this pathetic army of ridiculously powerful non-entities. <laughs> That's what I have left there. It's pretty much what I... Okay, I am building garbage there. These guys go over here. So where'd Napoleon go? I noticed that Napoleon did not attack me like I thought he would. Yes, the February, he uh, Survived that northern attack. Huh. I wonder where Napoleon went. I have a spy over here. Might as well go try to find out. It's probably in these trees over here. Doesn't matter. He's gonna try to goad me into an attack. Well, screw that. All right, what do we got over here now? Uh -huh. After all that recruiting, I still have I still have income, so that's really good. <laughs> Build a bunch of line infantry in Venice. Even though I already have a bunch of line infantry. Oh, those two units. They're kind of blocking those units in. See if I can get into Innsbruck with these guys. Oh, I can't. How about that? That opens this door, but I think I'm going to try to slam that door closed. Uh -huh. Three. What am I building there? Dudes. All right. Well, they're not making a move on Venice, so... Uh-huh. 
Do do do. Good. Hidden in the trees. All right. Look, dudes. Everybody, come to Venice. It's a happening place. Oh, this army came back. Great. Two guys. Uh, all these cavalry, they can come too. Yeah, right here. What a jerk. A Prussian army of five guys is going to try and take that. Well, after the last adventure, I don't... I'm not going to... Uh, Oh, 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 is this Kurosal? Oh, no. Bagration, or Bagration, or I don't know his name. Baggy. I don't know where Kurosal went. After he got sucked back home, I don't know. I don't know. That's okay. Twelve pounders. Six pounders. Two more, tw two more twelve pounders. Did I build guys here? I have guys here. Uh, they're terrible. Oh no, no, they're good. Sorry. Lost track of what they were. All right, that army stayed in Munich. And there's General Mack saying hi. Hello, Munich. Hello, General A. You may not remember me. Because I don't think you've ever met a real general. All right, what's going on here? One guy is still holding down the fort. Yep, okay. It's all good. That army is healing faster. I think I'm going to send this guy south. Repair some buildings that were damaged by jerks. Oh, this is a, this is a French building. Uh, how much did it cost to prepare it? Just to have it be destroyed again, but oh, what the, what the heck? Until they take Paris from me, I get the benefit of its territories, but they're going to take Paris from me, but that's okay. It's all part of the plan at this point. Yeah, that bugs me. Well, how long do I have? I have four turns to to the surrender. In four turns, how many guys can I build? I bet you I can build all of them. <laughs> well, there's three. Yeah, yeah, you see guys here are just going to go up there and butt up against it. And those three too. 
So you do. Uh, I have guys being built. Not so worried about stuff. What am I? What am I thinking about now? Was, oh, yeah, artillery is about to come. That's a game changer for some of my units. It really bothers me that Napoleon just vanished. I don't know what to say to, about that. He's hiding in these trees, and my spy we should have seen him. But. I don't know. I'm just kind of holding on in the south while I smack him around in the north and, and in other places. <laughs> All right, what's the alliance situation? Very friendly, very friendly. Okay, well. Let's see what happens. Oh, get bent. That torn up thing against General Mack? In your favor to win? Oh, because I only have one cannon and you have four. And you have an Imperial Guard troop and cavalry that has miraculously healed. Well, I still don't believe you're going to win. I'm pretty sure you're not. Not as sure as I used to be, perhaps. But my general's better than you. He's more experienced than you. By the by the braid. My army is more experienced than you. Yeah. Pretty sure you're still going away. I'll have to be smarter with my setup, though. Four guns. He's attacking me, so he has to come to me. There's going to be a bridge, and there's going to be... There's going to be a bridge, and there's going to be a... Uh, what's the word? Dyke? No, not dyke. I forgot the word. Military, what kind of military man forgets the word? Meh. Alright, three, three decent units of cavalry with experience. A bunch of very experienced infantry. This one guy who can't form defense for some reason. Alright. There's his army. It's nice that they actually let me see it this time. So that my superior general. There's his army. His cannons are in the middle of the field. As they should be. There's a bridge on this side. And the uh, shallow water is on this side. Cannons, cannons are there. Well, I do like all these trees for cover, but I would be remiss if I didn't even look over here. There's the pass. There is stuff in the way of him uh, shooting over here. I 
I like defending against these more. Not that they <coughs> not that he's gonna let me sit there and defend it, but I can try. Try and see if he'll come face me in the uh, face me this way. Let me form on defense and we'll see. His cavalry will very much want to kill my guys. I think I'm going to set my cavalry all up over here on the other side of the map. And General Mac. The idea is to make his five guns meaningless. Because then I let my size advantage size advantage rule the day. I noticed that this guy was back over there for some reason because I didn't click him, that's why. Put him over here. Okay, well let's see what happens. Oh, it's a three pounder again. I'm so glad that my three pounders always seem to survive. That's great. It's a very experienced three-pounder, but it's still a three-pounder. All right, what are they doing? appear to be able to target any of my guys. That's good. Oh, oh, and I say that, and then they target one of my guys. They target the guy on the end. All right. Well, oh, so we'll see about that. You guys move over here. cannons have killed any of their guys. Yep. I don't know why they're making charge sounds. <laughs> Very curious. I could set these guys over here just to see what they do. pecking away at their infantry. I 
Once again, they're not able to target, directly target any of my guys. That's nice. It does kind of look like they're coming this way. Come the late horse. That's a bold move. Very bold move. Thank you for coming over and losing 30 guys or 25 guys. Appreciate your efforts. look like they're fully committing to this attack. Oh, of course they attack. Attack the one guy who doesn't form square. And I'm sure that'll be very important for later. Nice. Oh, another cavalry unit. Oh, the horse guards. Oh. I hate that the horse guards are getting hurt. Alright, are we... Uh, they're still attacking, aren't they? Cavalry are still attacking. As long as the cavalry are attacking, I'm staying in square. Even though I'm not able to set up my guys to better take advantage of the fact that all these French troops are... Alright. Shoot them all. There they go. They're running. Drop them to 
pieces. Thank you. Oh. And my cavalier almost across the bridge. Where are you going? Oh, those light horses are coming back. Interesting. I need to uh, send my cavalry over here to say hi to their uh, cannons. No, that's just, it's just stupid. Their attack is slowed down by coming across the river. That, they, that I was in the wrong position to mate, face them is on me, but it's still a lot to ask of any army to cross a ford. That's the word, a ford. I think that's the word. And, uh, yeah. Okay. Having to form a square and come out of square all the time is irritating, but... See, this guy is standing in knee-deep, in the waist-deep water shooting at me. It just doesn't sound very wise. That's all. All right. Cavalry. You. Hit that guy. You. Hit that guy. You. That guy. Cavalry eye of you. How you doing, guys? How's your day, Ben? Huh? You been shooting at my guys? Oh. Oh. Oh, boy, that. That just sucks. Aww. Oh. Aww. Oh. Aww. Oh. Aww. Oh. And the Marshal, Marshal A, finally falls. Oh. Are you cavalry are back? I have a hard time believing that. Slick. See, this is the way it's supposed to go. <laughs> This is what's supposed to happen.
my cavalry were prob are probably tired. Yeah. I may ask them to come and sweep sweep up the mess. Having decimated those guns and the general. And I, I guess he just pretended that pretended that those guys weren't there. numbers are just crushed trying to cross this river it's <laughs> it is a ridiculously unfair advantage especially when things go the way I want them to <laughs> that's an ugly baby alright uh, uh, we've Fooled around long enough, let's bring the cannon over to get in on the action. If you guys are still there with my cannon set up, then I pity you. I really do. Winded, tired, winded. 116, these guys even haven't even taken a loss, that's how bad that was. The most inappropriate attack done by a French Marshal in... Well, no, we have seen... <laughs> on turn 1 and turn 2, there were some interesting attacks. Right around this area, too, of, of the map. <laughs> I think it was Marshal Messina who took the, took on a, one of my units, of, one of my full units, and took it on by himself. <laughs> and I, I admit, I enjoyed that. The trick is with cavalry, when you're cleaning up a mess, is to not go for the units that are already destroyed, because that wastes your cavalry's energy on uh, things that don't matter. They're not going to rally, so don't, don't bother with them. Active. Alright, well, what the heck. All you guys run away. There we go. You too. Everybody. Splick. And that, as they say, is that. like to uh, take credit for that fine piece of craftsmanship and I will <laughs> after the last catastrophic almost failure which I'm still not able to figure out let's see he attacked me I had 2,000 guys he attacked me with 1,100 guys he lost a thousand of them oh but now he's able to theoretically defend with that thousand guys. Where are you guys going? I don't know. 
what's going on there. Oh, 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 I see he came in and wrecked some French buildings. Whoops. Where do you get all those guys? Oh, no, those... Reading the map all wrong. What time is it? Nine o'clock. Uh, I do think I'll save this, quote, battle for next time. Uh, it's going to be an ugly baby. Even I'm going to take great pleasure in destroying that unit. After giving me so much gas in the last fight, after being completely bludgeoned in the first fight. Uh, yeah. Yeah, this is going to be ugly. But, uh, until next time. This is Jomo Rising, signing off.